All right, it's the next morning. On cover, you'll see this has bubbled up. The yeast has done its work overnight. Um, it's pretty sticky now, so the way I handle it is I get my hands wet. If your hands are wet, the, the dough won't stick to them very easily anyway. And what you're gonna do is just scrape it off the bowl. And we're gonna keep it in this bowl as we let it proof. So I'm just making a big ball. And what we wanna do is just stretch it out and then fold it. And you wanna sort of alternate directions. And you're gonna do this three or four times until it kind of doesn't want to stretch anymore. And it gets a little harder to do as you go. And what this does is it stretches those glutens out, adds structure. And then you just put it back in the bowl and cover it back up. And then I usually wait 45 minutes and I'm going to do this uh, a few more times. And what will happen is it, it will, the yeast will <clears throat> uh, start to work again. It will puff up. You'll stretch it, do that again. And then I, I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to, uh, to uh, coat it with flour and, and put it in the oven.